With Season 8 of Fortnite coming to a close, the game files have been updated. Hey, this is Keith Allen Henson, and today we're going to be taking a look at some recently discovered event leaks for the end of Season 8, and what impact they will likely have moving into Season 9. Credit goes to at Fort Tory on Twitter for looking into these game files and posting videos and screenshots, as well as other information regarding most of these leaks. The first event we're going to look at is the possibility of the volcano finally erupting. This would most likely happen near the very end of Season 8, but there's unfortunately a chance it could also occur afterward. The smoke coming from the volcano has been getting thicker the past couple of weeks during the currently ongoing event at Luke Lake. Now, it looks like as if the rune event is going to end with a massive eruption. It seems like this is the case because of some leaked audio files. These audio files appear to support the fact that the volcano was going to erupt and even throw out a bunch of debris. Thanks to S110X who posted it on Twitter, so now we can hear a bit of it. Here, take a listen. The file names mostly have meteor in them, which is confusing since a meteor is an object from outer space, not a rock spit from a volcano. However, this is probably just an error and these sounds are most likely going to be used for a volcano eruption. So what's the point of a volcano eruption? Well, it looks as if the volcano eruption is going to partially destroy two zones, Tilted Towers and Retail Row. Let's take a look at the Tilted Leaks first. This footage is without the new buildings added in, so it's definitely not a final look at the zone. It's also in the wrong location, but that's just how the leaker shows the files in game. The actual locations will likely be where they're supposed to be. So disregard the location and just take a look. You can see that the granite tilted looks absolutely devastated. There are multiple impact craters with lava in them and a bunch of rubble left over from the destruction. Looking at the buildings, it seems as if a lot of tilted tower buildings are going to be ravaged by the volcano, breaking down significantly and even losing a few floors. For example, here is footage of the umbrella building. More than half of it looks to be completely gone, and it's only two stories high now. There's also leaked footage of the clock tower and another building that appear to be destroyed, as well as new chest spawn locations at each of those. Again, these locations are not proper, and the changes will occur in the proper locations. Retail Row looks to be equally devastating. There's a big impact crater filled with lava where the parking lot used to be. Vehicles got overturned, and it's clear that some buildings are going to be toppled, at least in some areas based on the high piles of rubble. We do know that the retail side buildings will change, as their models have been revealed in the leaks. Here are the Dirt Burger and Pizza Pit, for instance. It's unclear whether or not the destruction shown here is representative of all that is to come, since the residential side of the town looks completely fine. It wouldn't really make sense if Epic left one side of the area completely untouched while reworking the other. Although it looks as if the houses will remain untouched at the start of Season 9, there might be more eruptions as the season progresses. If you're not certain how these two zones being changed will shake things up, we'll get into a bit of a Fortnite history lesson. For those who probably haven't been there since the beginning, Retail Row has been in the game since it was released, and Tilted Towers was added to the game shortly after, back in Season 2. They've both been pretty popular drop locations during their existence, especially Tilted. Players are super used to these locations, as they've been in Fortnite for almost its entirety. Some players actually have been asking for the removal of Tilted Towers for at least a few seasons now. So many players land there and die early that a boring and empty mid-game has become quite common. This led many to theorize that it would eventually be destroyed by Epic. Those theories go far back as the rocket event from Season 4, which many players thought it was meant to destroy the city. However, Tilted Towers remain in the game with some minor changes as the seasons went on. While we've seen more significant zone changes in the past, it's pretty crazy to think that a zone that has existed since the beginning might be getting completely reworked. It really shows that no POI is safe from change, and that Epic will likely continue reworking old zones for future seasons. During Season 8, a crack appeared to form on the north side of Polar Peak. It turns out that the crack is only going to get bigger, either the near of this season or after Season 9 starts. It's unclear whether this crack forming is tied to the volcano eruption or not, but it would make some sense if the eruption perhaps changed the climate on the map, causing the snow to melt and the glacier to collapse. What happens after these cracks form is currently unknown. We don't know if the crack will continue to form more than what has been leaked already, or if this is just this final form before it breaks. Polar Peak has been received poorly during its short existence. It was panned immediately because it had almost no loot on release. 
The game developers attempted to fix that by adding more to it. But Polar Peak still remains disliked by a lot of players, especially those in the competitive scene. In competitive matches, Polar Peak has very awkward in-game zones that require a lot of building and fast maneuvering. Because of his poor reception, Epic mm -hmm. might have made the decision to remove or rework the zone in the near future. As for the surrounding area, maybe with the map warming up, the ice will thaw and Greasy Grove will come back. If that does happen, we predict that it won't be exactly the same as the old mm -hmm. Greasy Grove. It'll most likely be in a more dissipated state since it has been stuck under ice for half a year. And lastly, some leaks have indicated that players may have the ability to vote on unvaulting items in a future in-game event. There are game files indicating we'll be able to vote on one or more of these six items soon. Mm -hmm. The Grappler, Bouncers, the Drum Gun, the Tactical SMG, and the Infinity Sword. It seems like a vehicle, the plane, is also in a mix. Mm -hmm. It's likely this is part of another in-game event similar to the Butterfly event from Season 6. And it looks like as if you'll be brought to Loop Lake, or at least a private version of it, in order to possibly try out the items first before casting your vote. Now, in case you didn't know, Epic continued to change a couple of these items after they had been vaulted in the Battle Royale modes. They experimented with adding limited fuel for planes so that the players can't spend the whole game in the air. The Infinity Sword also got nerfed quite hard after they saw how OP it was on release. It would be surprising to see if any of these items come back without changes being made to them. If the leaks are accurate and the voting event does release, this will be the first time the players of Fortnite will be able to have a direct say on the game's item pool. Maybe we'll even be able to vote on which items to vault in the future. Perhaps even items that have never been released will be put to a vote. Whatever happens, we think it's awesome that Epic is giving players the opportunity to give direct input and make decisions on the game's future. While it looks like some zones are going to be destroyed in Season 9, Epic has done a pretty good job in the past updating their map. So, despite some old favorites possibly being gone, what replaces it will hopefully be fresh and exciting. As for the Nexus event, it looks like Epic may be putting at least a partial responsibility on the community to decide what items they want or don't want. It's definitely a cool concept, and hopefully we end up getting some fan favorites added back to the game. Hey guys, let us know what you think of Tilted and Retail being destroyed, as well as what you think will happen to Polar Peak. Also, which one of the six Nexus event items do you want unvaulted for Season 9? Hey, once again, this is Keith Allen Henson, and if you want to connect with me, I'd love to hear from you on my Instagram. Hey, send me a message. If you guys got any questions or you just want to give some shout-outs, let me know. We'll see you soon.